have fed. Right, John Troads in the kitchen now. Good to see you, John. Hey, John. Hey, yeah. Making something very fresh, very well, healthy. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, the thing is, the sun's shining, and I think what we're sort of trying to get outside, we're trying to be inside, we're trying to feel a bit more fresh about what we're doing. Yeah. And really, the other thing is, I find at this time of year, people are getting complicated with food. I just want to take it, make it easier. So this is salmon, some miso, which may be a new flavour to other people, and cucumbers. Literally, that's what we're doing. Uh, Dermot's very nicely smashing his all together, which <laughs> I really like the idea of. It seems to be I'm etiquette with shorts, but not with the way in which we do it. My three-year-old <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Smash it out. Miso is simply the paste mm. of a soya bean. It's fermented, sometimes made with barley. It's umami flavour. Think the flavour of maybe marmite or something like that. It's delicious. It's seasoning itself. You don't need salt anymore. Why does it taste so nice? Is it just is that how soy beans taste? I cooked a Dermot. That's why it tastes so good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> it is so good. That. Uh, this, this is great. But this 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 glaze will hold you in great stead. So I put a little bit of water in a pan. I put some miso miso in the bottom. All the the uh, the quantities are on the app, so that's fine. Brown sugar, a little bit of soy sauce, not too much because that becomes quite salty. Uh, mirin, and if you don't have mirin, you can just add um, vodka, actually, which oh. would work just as well. Add to that a little bit of sesame oil, you bring it all to the boil, you mix it around, and what you end up with is you end up with an amazing miso glaze, which is inside is that it? this, this. That's it. Bring that to boil, and you end up with this lovely pot. How long does that take to get from that to that? <clears throat> well, by the time we finish this cook, it will be like an No like way. That. So you're allowed to stick your finger in there if you want to. I was going to say, is it it's all right to do that? Yeah, well, because you're probably going to take it home with you. Because we know it's going to Actually, you're going to say, yeah, can I take that home? Of course. Can I take it home? Yeah, you're going to take it home, that's right. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> salmon kebabs. I've just taken some salmon. Every day, shop bought salmon. Cut it into big pieces and put it on two sticks. The reason two sticks, so it doesn't fall apart. It just gives it a little bit more structure. But what you do when you cook Smart. a piece of salmon like this, put oil, a little tiny bit of oil on your pan. It's the only time I put oil on a pan is when I cook salmon, because it sticks. Let it cook and let it sizzle. And then when you turn it over, you'll see it gets a nice little crust on it. Yeah, I love now, it. Now, this is going to cook for about six minutes. I'm asking everybody, I've said this a few times before, just cook your fish half as long as you think you need to cook it for. And if a little bit sticks, don't worry, because we're going to use the miso glaze on here anyway. So turn that over. John, let that happen. me and you were talking earlier on about we, we both kind of prefer, I like salmon, but we both kind of prefer white fish to salmon. Would, would, could you use any, any different fish with this? You could, but when you use white fish, what you do is you marinate it in this dressing overnight in your fridge and put it underneath the grill. I want to do something that everybody can see how this turns out, because this is going to cook really, really quickly. So could you use tuna or another red Tuna, fish? fantastic. A piece of cod in slivers, marinated in your fridge overnight, under the grill, you've got blackened cod, as you would go to in something like Nobu. That's wow. crazy. So, take a cucumber. We're going to smash a cucumber and make a dressing from that miso glaze as well. So, we've got the miso glaze for our salmon, miso glaze also for the dressing. So, the whole idea is you take this and then you smash the cucumber. And you put it in stripy pyjamas. Stripey pyjamas, <laughs> make sure it's nice. And then give it a smash with another board. That's it. This morning, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to smash my cucumber. It sounds a bit odd, oh, but what happens... really good fun. It's really good, but what it does... Oh, wow. It absorbs all the dressing. <laughs> so then you just cut it into nice pieces, and then you've got yourself... I mean, this is the quickest cucumber salad in the West. You take that, and you put that in the bowl, and there's your smashed cucumber. You can put any dressing you like on it, but I'm going to make the dressing from my miso glaze. So take a bit of my miso glaze. Yeah. Take that, a little bit of sesame oil, a tiny bit of soy sauce. It's got a kick, hasn't it? Sorry, yeah. I put some chilli in there, sorry. And I remembered that, actually, nice. Holly, you're not a, no, a no, massive chilli person. it's right on the edge for me of being... But, but I'm actually quite enjoying it, because oh, the good. whole... It's funny, Excuse isn't it? There's I'm a little, like, my you can go up. over the top, but this the is... The coldness right. of the cucumber cancels it. It's almost like having chilli in a glass of hot water at the same time. And yeah. then you've got the sweetness also because the brown sugar and the miso. So now mm. I've put some chilies in there. We're going to put the dressing across the top. Because the cucumbers are really watery, you just mix those together and that mixture with the water from the cucumber then makes your dressing. So there's our seasoning. No salt at all. The, nice. This now, okay, our, so that, that miso yeah. glaze has boiled up and I said she'll be ready. There it is. In the pot, ready to go. Spills it all across the bench so we can clean up. And then you take your miso glaze, your salmon's cooked, you take it, and then you just take a little bit of that and let it sizzle, turn it off, and then the miso glaze wraps itself around that piece of salmon. Yeah. And you've got this sort of lovely coating around the outside of it. Take our salad bits. We're going to take some coriander and some onions. 
Now, last week you talked about how your daughter loves seaweed and seaweed salad. Yeah. So this is sort of ode to her because seaweed, I think, is difficult. I've got sheets of nori which I've just cut into small strips. I'm going to drop my cucumber salad on the plate. There. It's then take so this. Good, now, isn't it? Put the, the seaweed across the top. You just chop that really finely, have you? Really finely, and just use a pair of scissors. Then you just take your little kebabies here with all the miso across the top. And then, because they're cooked nicely, all that lovely flavour of all the miso there, put that in the middle of the table. That's so take amazing. That. So lovely, so light, John. There's more miso glaze there. That's your pot full. Um, Dermot, because of the fact that actually Holly stuck a finger in her jar. <laughs> so I've got a pot Thank for you. you. I've got a pot for Holly. Thank Sprinkle you. some sesame seeds across the top. Maybe some more um, uh, coriander. Serve it with a bit of rice. And think sushi with its dress off. <laughs> it you always look... make the world a better place when you come. Uh, good oh, Thank you. Seriously, John. I love food. I love cooking, as no, you guys you know. Just and just bring I... the lightness and the happiness of it all. Oh, it's well, delicious. It's great, man. Really Thanks yummy. Thank you. Bell, thank you, too. I know she will. Thank that. you. Details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from my chef's down at the free this morning app. She's like, seaweed? Mm? Uh, I, I know. <laughs> she knows. Uh,